Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how I make my custom domes. The technique that I'm using shouldn't be that very difficult. It's three steps, the only thing that might happen is that you go back to step two. So with that being said, let's just immediately get into it. So for this tutorial, if I even can call it a tutorial because I'm the worst at explaining things. But for this tutorial, I made a little well and I want to make it fabulous and extra fancy. So I want to put a dome on top of it. Now the first step of this technique is get a mud column. This piece is essential for how I built my domes. And why it's essential is because it perfectly aligns to the grid. So a mud column is the, well preferably only grid piece that you're using. But it's a grid piece that aligns perfectly to the con or intersection, not connection, but the intersection between the horizontal lines and the vertical lines of the grid. Now to step number two, which is get the piece, whatever piece you want to make the domes out of. I would usually go for a rounded piece because in the end they sort of look like roof tiles. And I prefer to go for plaster pieces because they are always recolorable. So then I can make like a really colorful dome with them. So I get my plaster pillar. I turn position snap on and this should make it so that it slots onto the snapping point of the mud column which is right at the center which means that this piece now is completely aligned to the intersection on the grid as well. Then you press X to go into advanced move tool so that you can move the mouse and this piece doesn't move. And now step 2 is basically defining the dome. This is where you really are able to change your dome. Step 3 is well step 3 is basically rotating until you get a dome but step 2 is where you actually make the dome and whatever way you go I let's just go there. Here you have to keep in mind though that this is going to be the center of the dome. The mud column is going to be just the right center of your dome and how far you move this Piece or whatever piece you're using to make your dome out of. This is going to be the distance from the center of your dome to the outer edge. So you have to keep in mind that at the end or in the end, this distance is going to be doubled because you're going to copy whatever you're making here onto the other side. So you're basically building the silhouette of a dome first. So for this well, I know that this well is four meters in width or diameter here's also where the mud column easily or makes it just easy it's also a measuring tool so this well is four meters from this point to this so i know that i need to half that for what i'm doing right now so i can place another column there slot the plaster piece or whatever piece i'm making my dome out of right on top of here and press X again. And I know that my piece needs to be between these two domes, preferably a little bit closer to the center of this column, just because I know that there's these pieces sticking out that I want to hide. So I need to make sure that this dome is going to cover those. And then you're just making the silhouette of a dome. So press X again and you get this and you can rotate it any way you want and then you just try and make a sort of believable dome or at least well you can go completely crazy but I usually go for a somewhat believable dome and then you just make one side of your dome keep in mind though that these edges they will probably show in some way or another so try to make those look somewhat neat and then eh, this dome is a little bit too high so I move it a little bit and just bring it down so that it is a little bit of a flatter dome and here you will see what I mean with the silhouette of a dome you well I'm getting ahead of myself here but you basically select all the pieces that you've made your dome out of you select the middle piece and you control D yeah control D right Yep, Ctrl D <laughs> and then you just press C until you basically have your dome mirrored or the silhouette that you just made mirrored until it's actually a silhouette. 
and then you get into step 3. Which is basically, you select all your pieces. Also, this is how I usually end up with like a million of these columns, because I forget that I use them constantly, so... Delete every column, preferably unless you only have one left. And then you just select all of these pieces that made up your dome. I use angle snap to just make sure that I have one that's completely just, well, horizontally like this or vertically. I think you get what I mean. I hope you get what I mean. <laughs> but just like this. And number three is, as I said, just rotate until you get a dome. So then you just keep rotating it and then eventually just a dome appears. Sometimes you can see these little things. I think I've made, nope. I misstart and deleted the column. Again, this is why backspace is so easy when it comes to these domes. And then you eventually have a dome. Let's check. Uh, the dome is too small. And then I go back to step number two. Again, backspace is really handy here. And then I move it out a little bit. And go forward again until I reach step number three and rotate everything again. Now sometimes a little gap like this appears. That's not really a problem. You just, well, I usually just find a piece like this one. Again, position snap, so it's right at the center of this dome. And just move it up. And you just cover it. Like that's half of the work in Planet 2 is covering up little holes, little, just tiny little mistakes. And then you just do the same again. There's a double piece here, so remove that. Don't select this middle piece, otherwise you're going to have a million of those as well. And then you just... Redo your dome until you finally have a dome that you want to use. Now, I'm just going to finish this dome, but as some closing thoughts on building domes, this video was actually misleading because this isn't only how to build domes. This entire well was built using this technique. I think I've... Yep, I've made a few too many of those. But this entire well was made using this technique. That tower was made using this technique. Those domes were made using this technique. You can really go as crazy as you want with this. It's basically a technique how I built every rounded building anytime. Because it's just easily done in a way. You just, you know, you make... That one piece, that one half silhouette, however you want, and then you just rotate it around until you get what you want in a rounded building. So, in the case of, let's say, this tower, all of this was just these pieces rotated, just like how I built domes. So, in a way, this video was misleading because it's not only how I built domes, it's how I built everything. And I'm going to also give you guys one tip. This technique is very easy when it comes to like these Arabian shaped domes. I would even say Russian domes could be easy with this technique. You can make a lot of things. Glass domes though are a little bit tricky. Actually using any flat piece. Like I prefer to use rounded pieces here because it's really hard to mess these up. But if you have a flat piece, it's really difficult to make it look pretty because things are going to overlap. But when it comes to, well, these domes where I want to make it look like roof tiles, using a rounded piece makes it pretty much impossible to screw up. But that's going to be how I build domes. I hope this tutorial was in any sort of way helpful to you guys. I'm just going to fancy up this dome a little bit because... I think I can make this well a lot fancier than just this. So I'm going to do that. But I again hope this tutorial was informational or helpful to you guys. If it was, there is the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. I don't know if I'm going to do more tutorials because as you might have noticed, 
I am really bad at explaining things. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. There's the notification button, but that one just never works. So maybe don't even try with that one. But yeah, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.